Hello everybody, this is Michael Smith here, back again with Abandoned Cemeteries. That's Abandoned Cemeteries on Facebook, and Abandoned Ohio Cemeteries on YouTube. Like and subscribe for our videos. Uh, today we're in our, our home area, the cemetery I never knew existed, and quite frankly, I don't think anybody else does either. Uh, this is probably the worst uh, neglected cemetery we have done. It's very small. Um, it's kind of in somebody's backyard, really, kind of. Um, it's really not easy to get to. Uh, so, I was just, uh, we were we found this on uh, a website, so we decided to come out and do it. And it's, uh, it's not really taken care of too well, but we're going to get in here and see what we can find. Well, uh, we, uh, I got interrupted there by the person who uh, the, owns this place. I'll explain it here in a second, but I'm going to flip the camera around here real quick. Because this is how, this is... What it's like, like I said, this is probably the most grown over one we have. Uh, where we're at, I'm going to show you guys where we're at. Um, the main road out here is State Route 87, and the main road out here is one that is very familiar with my videos, the State Route 534. Um, so that is uh, east, behind me is west, that way is south, and this way is north. That building you see over there, kind of in the trees. That is called End of the Commons. It is a general store here in Mesopotamia, Ohio. That's where we are. It's, it's called Mespo for short. It's Mesopotamia. Say that three times fast, Ohio. And that store over there, End of the Commons, was built in 1840. And it's still there. It is the oldest general store in Ohio, still in operation. Um, they have added on to it, of course. But the original store, the original floor, and the original, every, original pretty much everything is still there. It was built in 1840 and is an excellent place to come out and visit as well. Now, to get here, you got to kind of walk through somebody's backyard and stuff. So, we talked to the gentleman. He said every cemetery has to have a public like uh, way to get up here. Um, we think it's the, the uh, there's a path right along over there that's to get this one. But uh, we'll go through that in a minute. This is going to be a quick video. We're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> This is called Clark Cemetery. This is called Clark Cemetery. Again, we're in Mespo, Ohio, short for Mesopotamian, and we're gonna try to see if we can look at any of the graves, but like I said, it is badly grown over. The person we just talked to, he uh, owns that store over there. He has bought all this land, and he said uh, he is going to hire people to come out here and clean this up and restore this cemetery. So that will be very interesting to see once this is cleaned up, because as you can see, it is really really grown over uh right off the back we have a clark it looks like we have reuben clark like i said this is clark cemetery it's probably a family cemetery and reuben clark was died in 1850 died in 1850 there's one over there i want to look at too oh are you okay you all right zach's stuck he needs help go help him i'll do this okay we have another one here this is spiderville we have spiders all over the place we have another clark and this Clark died in 1848 at 59 years old, it looks like. We do have some Revolutionary War soldiers in here. Um, this is Isaac. Okay, Isaac Clark. I'm going to try to... Oh, the spiders. Son of another Clark. And she died in 1844, it looks like. 1814 that might be 14 not 44 because they fought they are a, a veteran i don't know which war they fought and there's revolutionary war and there's war of 1812 in here as well i'm gonna try to look at these over this, here this, over here fought 1812 and revolutionary. this is 1812 and Re but there i can't there is absolutely fought. no way to see anything on this I'll stone his name later I want to say died in 1836. Yeah. 1836 looks like the death date, but according to my wife, the person buried here fought not only in the Revolutionary War, but also in the War of 1812, which is, that's amazing. And that was his son. And that's his son over there. Okay, I gotcha. All right, we have, oh, Olivia looks like. Yep, Olivia back here. Cannot quite make out when Olivia died. We have William. Can't quite go out when William died either. There's ones even back there. I don't know about getting back there. Yeah. Uh, we have Sophie. Looks like S A. I can't keep making that out. Getting to it's gonna be fun. 
They have almonds. So I named their kid Almond. Good job with that one. Okay, I'm gonna get S. I want to say S A. Any sane? Sane? I don't know. I have to figure that one out. There's a couple of big ones in here I want to get to. Like I said, it's the it's a little rough going in here. What is this one? This one's a family, it's a family stone. It looks like I can't even make anything out on it at all. There's a really little one over here, probably a baby. And this one looks like it's been repaired, though. This one looks like it's been fixed. Yeah, this one. Oh my god! Yeah, Lauren, it's Lauren. I see that. And Lauren died in 1847. Lauren died in 1847. We have oh Sasha or Susan? Susan, sorry. Mm -hmm. Susan Clark died in 1870 at 55 years old. I'm going to try to look at this one over here, but this is... Can't wait to come back and see what, happened, what this place looks like when they restore it, because the guy who owns it said they were going to restore it. There's another family one here, but it is really, really worn away. This might be a short video, because half these we can't see and can't even get to. But this is, can you see that one over there at all? A little bit. What's the name on it? The, can you see the name and the death date? I can't see We are so getting poison ivy. Okay, there's one, there's a couple over here I'm gonna try to get to. I don't, I don't think I'm stepping on somebody's grave right now, which is terrible. Try to do the best videos I can with what I got to work with here. Oh boy, some of the stones are just laying about, again, you know, there's no way I'm going to make out this one either, probably. All I can make out is spiders and vines. <laughs> well, that's probably going to do it for us. There's a lot of little ones around here, but they are very wore over. Can't make it out. Like I said, this is how bad it's overgrown. I think I have a spider on my head. There's a gopher hole. There's another gopher hole. Well, unfortunately, that's probably gonna be it. This is probably gonna be a little short video. Can't make out, oh, there is a family Clark. There's Clark, it says Clark on this side. I'm gonna try to zoom into it. There's Clark. This is a family plot, basically. A family named Clark was probably, lived around here, and this was their cemetery for a lot of their family members. But they said they're gonna restore it and bring it back to life and make, a, make it look really nice. So. I'm, Anxious to see that. Can't wait to get back here and see that one when it's like that. But we're going to sign off here. This is Clark Cemetery in Mesopotamia, Ohio. And we're going to get going. Well, Zach, can you say bye? <laughs>